please. Give us a chance to explain. Yes, please. No need. I already know what I'll tell the other maesters. Well, we we exterminated the traitor. We're not the traitors. Lord Seymour was the leader of the Guado before becoming a. He was a traitor. We have proof. You're not letting us go. Let you go. Lord Seymour would never forgive us if we Well, he's dead now, so it doesn't matter if he would forgive you wait, now, does it? Wait! Just go sphere! We can show it to Yeah! You. Where is it? You mean this? What? Hey. What? The Guado take care of Guado of Oh, you did not just do that, Mr. Spongebeard. Oh, Run! Oh, guess we're gonna have to break through. <laughs> All right then, let's get the hell out of here next time on Let's Play Final Fantasy X. Awaka. You've really done it now. Buy something just in case. Howdy guys, Nintendo Caprice on here. Welcome you back to Let's Play Let's Final or Let's Final Fantasy X. That's what this is. Sure, we'll uh, see what Awaka's got. He's got nothing. Okay. Well then, let's get out of here. Save point if you want to save. I don't see why you want to. Now you're gonna have these Guado chasing you all the way down here. You pretty much can't avoid them. They'll always run faster than you, so you'll have a few encounters here. Can't really help that, but get as far as you can. Look at those guys, they look so stupid. All right, what do we got? We got a Guado. Man, what are these guys up to? Seymour was the traitor, why can't they see that? Are they just that hell-bent on they can't see when one of their own has done a wrongdoing? Seriously? Well, then you're gonna die for that. You're gonna die. Oh, great, you're another auto-potion idiot, aren't you? Well, we're gonna have to do something about that. Seal! Haha. <laughs> Take care of that thing right there. You get some pretty good experience here, though, I'm not gonna lie, man. It only gets better as time goes on. Walk out, you're just gonna defend. You know you've already gone. And so, here we go. Fire. We gotta get away! See, realistically, while we were doing this fight, a hundred others would show up and we wouldn't have a chance. But, hey, who cares, right? Steal! Ah! Oh, don't you dare do that again! You're dead. Huh. That's what you get for not believing the truth. The truth! 1780. Okay, maybe I was lying about that experience. That's kind of poopy. I don't know, though. Anything in four digits was always good before, so... Dang it, I can't believe the next one was that close. I guess I'll show all these. Just for the sake of continuity and all. It kind of makes it more realistic. What are we... Are you all summoners? They must all be summoners, because, oh well, wow. I'm not even gonna give you a chance to use your potion, you're just going to die. <laughs> Farewell. Farewell. Right on. These overdrive modes that it keeps popping up with? Well, is, I'll explain those at some point. Basically, you can set a character so that his overdrive goes up when other things happen besides taking a hit. Like you can set it up so that they can, so that their overdrive goes up when a comrade takes a hit, or when someone heals, or or when you win a battle. And um, I think probably comrade is would be the best one because you have two other people taking damage. So and that would happen more often than. You know, than just you taking damage, but I don't know if it would just go up half as much in that case or something. I never really... Man, that looks weird to not see her bending over, showing her boobs. <laughs> Are we out of here yet? Well, we better get out of here fast. Oh, run for your lives! Oh, it's so cold out here. They're never gonna find us here, though, can't... Oh, no. Well, 
Well, I didn't show these enemies last time, so I might as well show them this time. The, the floating eyes. Once again, probably a good enemy to try and steal musk from if you can. Start getting a ready supply of that going. There's actually a monster later on. Um, why did I do that? I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> That's pretty good damage considering it was a that. That. Um, yeah, like I said, there's a... I don't know if I'm really spoiling anything when I say this, but there's a monster in the arena later. And you can basically fight him over and over again and just steal, like, musk, like, four at a time. Farewell. Nice going, Orin! I didn't think he'd be able to hit that. Holy crap. Nice. Anyway. So, yeah, I'm gonna start editing out the rest of the battles here, so, uh... We must make a run for it, though. Yeah, things just really went to shit, though, didn't they? Man, Lulu got silenced on that last one. That was a real pain in the butt. Anyway, there's a hidden treasure over here you might want to get. Level 1 key sphere. Not a big deal. <laughs> but might as well. Never can have too many. Oh. To my heart tonight. Oh, oh. <laughs> <sighs> I shouldn't be doing this. Finish at least one of those off. Shit. Oh, shit. No. Fuck. Oh, my God. No, come on, knock him out of this confusion. Shit. No freaking way. No freaking way! Uh. Guys, uh, I might gonna have to cut back in here somewhere. I might just have to show that battle. <laughs> but I was singing during that battle? Shit. What am I gonna do? Ugh. I guess I gotta stop the recording there, because I probably haven't saved in like a half hour. Yeah.